Mail's here. Mail today. It's here. The mail's here. Dog. Mail's here. Lizard. Man. Do I live in a freaking petting zoo? Mail's here. Mail, 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 mail. Mail's here. First, I want to take a minute to say thank you to everyone who watched my video, liked my video, and subscribed. You guys are awesome. Let's keep it up. All right, so now today's video, if you haven't noticed by the description and the title, is all about comic book grab bags. And today's comic book grab bag is brought to us by Searchlight Comics. Now, I have to come right out and say, Searchlight did not send this to me for free. I bought this myself, so this is sponsored in no way. It'll be a completely unbiased review. So, Searchlight Comics is actually a large internet-based comic book company. They sell lots of different grab bags, lots of different comics, full sets, the whole nine yards. This is one of them. I opted to get the 60 random DC and Marvel comic book set. Now, retail cost on this thing is supposed to be $61.98. $61.98, 60 comic books. It's about a buck a piece, not bad. But don't pay full price. There are always coupons on Groupon for this thing to get it like half off. Much, much better deal. Considering it is a grab bag and you don't know what's in here. Now, Searchlight Comics does say that it's estimated to be valued at about $449.99. Oddly specific, but there it is. All right, so let's crack this thing open and let's find out what's in here. Hey, we got paper. Gotta love paper. Now it's actually kind of funny because when I started collecting comic books, it was back in the 90s. And in the 90s, you could not walk into a Walmart or a Kmart or any other department store without finding comic book grab bags. Usually back then they were like 10 or 20 for five bucks. And you can always guarantee three things from those grab bags. One, there would always be a spawn number one in that box, in that bag. Number two, there would always be some kind of Batman Nightfall series, something or another in the bag. And the third thing you can be guaranteed was that the rest of the comic books were going to suck. Let's hope that's not the case anymore. It has been a long time. Ooh, look at this. They just all pack them in a bag here. Hey, we got about half of them that are bagged and boarded at least. There we go. So let's take a quick gander and see what we got. I'm just going to rip this. We don't need it anymore. Hey, hey. DC Comics New Teen Titans in cooperation with the President's Drug Awareness Campaign. Well, looks like there's a second comic book in there. Oh no, it's just right there stuck to it. New Teen Titans, Who Killed Trident? Yay! Supergirl! Outsiders! Wonder Woman! Birds of Prey. Yeah, send all the DC comic books to the guy who's not a real big DC fan. Nightwing! Nightwing! Death and the Maidens. Never even heard of this. Should be interesting to find out what that's about. And we got some Batman, more Batman. Legends of the Dark Knight, Batman, Empire. Major bummer. What in the sweet holy crap is that? Wow. Just wow. Learning to Fly, Icon, Justice League, Justice League, Firestorm, JLA. So I think I'm going to get halfway through the stack, and it'll probably turn into Marvel. Because like they said, they do 50-50, apparently. Some more Superman, Superman, Vigilante, yeah, Infinite Crisis. Hey, and here goes the Marvel comics. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Excalibur. Oh, cool. Neat little picture of Stan Lee right there in the middle. See that? It's neat. Exiles. Really? Okay. New X-Men. Wow, these are kind of beat up. They do say the comic books are going to be in fine condition, so I wasn't expecting anything too fantastic. As far as condition goes, House of M. It's a pretty good story. Ares, Thor, Son of Asgard, Captain America Reborn. 
I got some Thunderbolts. Hey, Transformers Universe. Second sensational issue. I think this is one of those bio books like they used to do with Marvel Universe back in the day. They just list all the Transformers and give you quick bios on each one. Incredible Hulk, Marvel Fanfare, Heroes for Hire, Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate Secret, Fantastic Four, yeah, another four for, hey, Emma Frost. Yeah, very decent artwork. Ender's Game. There's an old school G.I. Joe that pops in here. X-Men Children of the Atom. Oh, an Uncanny 300. I actually needed to replace this issue. So hey, one bright side so far. Some Avengers, more Avengers, Iceman, Iron Man. And last, Extreme X-Men. So, looking through that stack right now, I am not seeing $449.99 worth of comic books. But, I will look this up and find out. Now, I have a feeling they're probably going by book value on these things, which actually I'm kind of calling BS on. No one pays book value for comic books, okay? We do have one of the most accurate price guides on the planet at our disposal right now. Whether you love them or hate them, we have eBay. eBay has, even unknowingly, has created the greatest single database of collectible prices in the U.S., possibly the world. So, we'll go look these up and see what people are actually paying for them. And let's go find out. I'll be back. And I'm back. Well, I knew this was going to turn out absolutely wonderful when it started with a free comic book. Anyway, well, <laughs> technically it was a dollar when this came out. And I would be surprised if you would find this for higher than 50 cents now. Anyway, let's get into the good parts, I would actually say. So I went through, looked all these comic books up, and even if the comic only sold for 50 cents, maybe 25 cents. I still went ahead, gave it the benefit of the doubt, listed it as a dollar in my little spreadsheet that I was adding in. So, total price that I got for all these comic books, $74.99. So, at $61.98 plus shipping, not really worth it. But if you do happen to find the Groupon coupon to get a 50% off, you know, it might be fun just to see what you get. Um, especially if you're a gambler and you like gambling. So let's move on here and let's show you a few things that I got. Well, I these, this Excalibur flashback with Stan Lee, Batman and the Outsiders, number 24, Batman's Legend of the Dark Knight, number 179, and Batman's Legend of the Dark Knight, 174, along with this icon learning to fly and the Incredible Hulk, 29, each sell for like a few bucks a piece. Nothing too spectacular. Two dollars at the most. Now, Justice League number 20. This will actually fetch a whopping three dollars. Three dollars. And why is this three dollars? Kirkman variant cover. All because of that name right there. The only reason it's worth three bucks. The rest of these issues are like a dollar a piece. But... Oh, and here's the one I was excited about because I actually didn't have this issue. And I was looking to replace it. And I took it out of its wrapper and I found all kinds of fading and nice cover bends. Yeah, this thing is pretty much worthless. Wow, look at all these creases back here. Yeah, this is a little ridiculous. Especially when they say everything is fine to very fine. Yeah, they can actually kind of bite me on that. But, all in all, I would say we are all winners because of Major Bar. Look at that. Just look at its majesty. Look at that. I, I don't even know what this is supposed to be, but it is absolutely amazing. This thing is so beautifully absurd, I may hang it on the wall. No joke. This might go on. Let me look at that. Look at that. I don't, I don't know. It's, what is this? Part cable? Part patriot? Part... Captain Caveman? I don't I don't even know. It, what is this? Whatever it is, I love it. 
Oh, this is mine. I love it. I will keep this forever. On that note, oh, all these recipes over here. 25 cents, 50 cents, dollar. If you're shopping for stuff like this, just go to your local comic book store when they have a sale. They always got back issue bins to dig through. Especially if you live in a major city. Um, if not, drive to one. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so on that note, that's my review of 60 random Marvel and DC comics from Searchlight Comics. And if any of you are interested in actually trying your luck with one of these grab bags, I will put a link in the description below directly to Searchlight to buy this. They also have lots of other varieties. They have some that include independent comic books too, some that are just Marvel, some that are just DC. All kinds of choices. It could be fun. And I'll actually put a link to the Groupon also for this particular set. Seriously, half off. I mean, it's, it breaks down to about 50 cents an issue, which is what you would pay to your local store anyway. So like I said, it could be fun. You know, buy it for a kid or something, give it as a gift, or a hardcore collector just to kind of screw with them. So if you like this video, you like what you see, you want to see more, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. Lots more coming. It's going to be a lot of fun. And like always, thanks for watching. Take it easy.